Hello class 12. In this video, we are going to talk about a compound microscope. So the last video was about a simple microscope. This video is about a compound microscope. Now these days we get to see different kinds of compound microscopes. We get to see microscopes which has num many lenses. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the simplest kind of compound microscope wherein we have two convex lenses. Now, this convex lens, as you can see in the picture, is very close to our object AB. So this is our object AB. Hence, this convex lens is called the objective lens. Since it is closer to the object, it is called the objective. And mind you, we take objective lenses having very short focal length. So this lens has a short focal length and this lens has a bigger focal length, longer focal length, so to say. So F0 is the focal length of the objective and this lens, which has a longer focal length, Fe is the focal length of this lens. Now this lens, since it is closer to the eye, therefore this is called the eyepiece. So this is the eyepiece, this is the objective. Fe is the focal point of our eyepiece and F0 is the focal point of the objective. Okay. Now, you can see the object AB is farther away from the focal point of the objective. So therefore, we know convex lenses in this kind of a scenario forms a real and inverted image. So A dash, B dash is the real inverted image which is formed by the objective lens. Now, A dash, B dash, this inverted image which is formed by the objective lens now this a dash b dash acts as the object for the eyepiece so a dash b dash we have the inverted image that is formed by the objective now one of the rays from a dash b dash goes parallel to the principal axis and passes to the focal point of the eyepiece and the other ray of light b dash e this ray of light passes to the optical center e of the eyepiece Okay, and these two are diverging rays. Now, when these two diverging rays, they are produced backwards as denoted by these dashed lines, they meet at this point where a virtual image of A dash B dash is formed. So, A double dash B double dash is a virtual image of the object A dash B dash, that of the eyepiece, remember. So therefore, a, da a double dash, B double dash is the virtual image that this eye eventually sees. So you all need to get to learn to draw this picture properly. Okay, use rulers and draw this picture properly. So you can see that this eyepiece is basically acting like a simple microscope. So we've in simple microscope, we see that we have an object that is placed in front of the, you know, uh, lens, convex lens or magnifying glass and it forms a virtual image. So that is exactly the case in case of the eyepiece as well. So eyepiece is so to say acting like a simple microscope, remember. So U0, as you can see, is the distance of the object from the objective. V0 is the distance of the image A dash B dash formed by the objective from its optical center. UE is the distance of A dash B dash, the object for the eyepiece. Okay, so UE is the object distance for the eyepiece and VE is the image distance for the eyepiece, remember. So we will see how to calculate the magnifying power of the compound microscope. And herein we will consider two cases when the image is formed at the least distance of distinct vision in the first case. Okay, that will be the normal case, normal use case. And the other case will be when the image, the final image A double dash B double dash is formed at infinity. Okay, that is the case when the eye is most relaxed. Okay, so first of all, we'll see, we'll consider the case when VE, the image distance, from the eyepiece is equal to least distance of distinct vision. So we'll consider this case first. So now we will calculate the magnifying power for our compound microscope when the image, the final image 
A double dash, B double dash is, found, is formed at the least distance of distinct vision from the eyepiece or so to say from the eye. We are considering the eye and the eyepiece to be very, very close to each other. Okay, so what is magnifying power? Magnifying power is the visual angle subtended by the image at the eye. So beta divided by the visual angle subtended by the object when it is placed at the least distance of distinct vision. So when we place the object at the least distance of distinct vision D from the eye or from the eyepiece, the visual angle it subtends is what is called your uh, alpha. Now what we've done over here is A double dash, B triple dash, I have marked over here. A double dash, B triple dash is the same height, same size as our actual, as our actual object AB. Although it may not look like uh, in my picture, but A double dash, B triple dash it's the same size as our object AB. So it's like we've placed our object AB or A double dash, B triple dash at the least distance of distinct vision from the eye and the visual angle it subtends at the eye or at the eyepiece is alpha. So since, like I've already mentioned, the eye and the eyepiece are very, very close to each other. So whatever is the angle subtended at the eyepiece, the same angle is subtended at the eye, mind you. So A double dash, B triple dash is the, you know, object when it is placed at the least distance of distinct vision. And the visual angle it subtends at the eyepiece is alpha. So magnifying power therefore is beta by alpha. You can see the small alpha over here and you can see a small beta over here. Beta is greater than alpha. Now since these are very small angles we are talking about, so instead of beta we can write tan beta divided by, instead of alpha we write tan alpha. Now what is tan beta? Tan beta is, tan beta is this perpendicular, beta is this angle, so perpendicular divided by base, so it is A double dash, B double dash divided by A double dash, E. So this is tan beta divided by what is tan alpha? Tan alpha is this perpendicular, A double dash, B triple dash divided by A double dash, E. So you can check for the mathematics yourself, A double dash E, they divide each other out and therefore we are left with A double dash B double dash in the numerator divided by A double dash B triple dash. Now since A double dash B triple dash, this and AB, they are the same size. So instead of A double dash B triple dash, we write AB in the denominator. The numerator is the same. Okay, then after... M, what we do is we multiply and divide by A dash B dash over here. You can check for the mathematics, multiplying and dividing by A dash B dash. So this thing can be rewritten as A double dash B double dash divided by A dash B dash into A dash B dash divided by AB. Okay, now what is this thing, this fraction? A double dash B double dash divided by A dash B dash is the linear magnification of the eyepiece. Now, what we know linear magnification is, linear magnification is the size of the image formed divided by the size of the image uh, object, okay, for that particular lens. Now, for the eyepiece, the image is this, A double dash, B double dash, and the object for the eyepiece is A dash, B dash. So, the size of the image formed by the eyepiece divided by the object in case of the eyepiece is the linear magnification, ME, of the eyepiece. And likewise, a dash B dash divided by AB is the size of the image for the formed by the objective divided by the object, the size of the object for the IP. So therefore, this thing over here is the linear magnification for the objective. So this is so to say the general formula for the magnification, you know, the magnifying power of a compound microscope, remember. Okay. Furthermore, what we can do is M0, that is the linear magnification of your objective is basically linear magnification is the image distance divided by the object distance. Now, in case of the objective, we are only talking about M0, okay, so only for the objective. V0, the image distance is positive incorporating sign convention and the object distance is negative. So therefore for M0, it is V0 divided by minus U0. So this is equal to minus V0 by 
do not. And likewise for the, you know, uh, eyepiece, ME, the linear magnification of the eyepiece. The image distance D is negative in incorporating sign convention and also is the object distance for the eyepiece. It is negative. So therefore, ME is minus D by minus UE. So this is equal to D by UE. So, you know, substituting the, the values of M0 and ME in this equation, we get the magnifying power of the compound microscope is minus V0 by U0 into D by UE. So this is the second expression that we get for the magnifying power of a compound microscope. Remember, you might get to derive this. So we are uh, calling this equation number one. All right. So we are dealing with case one. That is when the image A double dash B double dash, the final image is formed at the least distance of distinct vision. This is also called normal use of the compound microscope when the image is formed at D. Now we know the lens formula. Okay. Now for the eyepiece, we know uh, for the eyepiece, U, the thing, the object distance for the eyepiece is negative and also is the least distance of distinct vision. The image distance is also negative. So that is what I have written over here. Here U is negative. This value of U is negative, minus UE, and V is minus T. And F, the focal length of the eyepiece is FE. Okay, it is positive. All right, so it is this focal length we consider. So this focal length is on the right-hand side of the optical center E of the eyepiece, therefore it's positive. All right, so substituting these values in the lens formula, we get 1 by minus D minus 1 by minus UE is 1 by FE. You can check that yourself. Okay, and thereby we get 1 by UE rearranging is this much on the right-hand side. Now when we substitute this value of 1 by UE, substituting the value of 1 by UE in equation 1, in this equation, this is 1, D into 1 by UE. Okay, so when we substitute the value, what we get is we get the magnifying power to be minus V0 by U0 into 1 plus D by FE. So this is the case, this is the magnifying power of the compound microscope when the image is formed at D. And also mind you, when the image is formed at D, Okay, so this also is the maximum value of magnifying power of the compound microscope. This is the max it can magnify. Okay, so you might get to derive this equation as well, mind you. Now the second case, case 2, is when the image is formed at infinity. And when the image is formed at infinity, our eye in that case is the most relaxed, remember. All right. So, when the final image, A double dash, B double dash, this image is formed at infinity. Now, we know the image is formed at infinity when the object is placed at the focal point. So, when the object is placed at focal point for the eyepiece, of course, okay, we are talking about the final image. So, the final image is formed by the eyepiece. So, when the final image is formed at infinity, this object for the eyepiece, A dash, B dash, should be placed at the focal point of the eyepiece, remember. In which case, the object distance UE will be equal to the focal length of the eyepiece as well. So therefore, the object distance is FE and thereby magnifying power, substituting the value of UE in equation number 1. In this equation, we get, what we get is, just a sec, we get this, okay. So magnifying power is M, which is minus V0 by U0 into D by FE. So instead of UE, we have FE. Okay, so this is the magnifying power, expression for magnifying power when the image is formed at infinity. So you can either get this case in the exam or you can get this case in the exam, remember. All right, and one last thing. The length of the compound microscope. Okay, now what is the length of the compound microscope? Length of the compound microscope is basically the distance between the two lenses. So, or more precisely, the distance between the optical centers of the objective and the eyepiece. So, to say, the length of the compound microscope is this distance V0 plus UE. The distance V0 plus UE is the length of the compound microscope. That is exactly what I've written. And these distances, distances since they cannot be negative, so therefore, you know, they are V0 and U0 are put inside the modulus sign. So for normal use, or also called for clear vision, this is the case when the image is formed at 
the least distance of distinct vision d so l is simply l is simply as you can see in the picture also v naught plus ue so that is the length of the compound microscope and for relaxed eye that is when the image is formed at infinity ue as we already said should be equal to fe so therefore l is v naught plus fe so these are the expressions for the length of the compound microscope so this is all about the compound microscope that you all need to learn so we stop here for this video thank you all so much